Hello everyone, and welcome to this league match uh, between Kaplain and Apostle Oso Ruler. Um, this is for the B Division. Um, so this first board has Worf, which of course looks very good, as Worf often does. Um, trashing is pretty weak. Uh, we just have Sauna, Bishop, and Forge, so a few different options, but none of them spectacular. Um, as far as opens here... Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, do you know what the... What are the standings like for this division, J Nails? Uh, so yeah, I've got to imagine... Uh, I've got to imagine we're going to be opening Desperation for Wharf. I don't know... Complain. Okay, yeah, so this is Complain's first match, so, um, you know, could definitely go either way for him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Okay, so, so Oppo's played two matches, and yeah, 6-6, six, six, so kind of dead average so far. Um, okay, so I, I think I like Desperation Wharf Ironworks. Um, Ironworks can gain you maybe silver, it could gain you some saunas, maybe border guards at some point. Maybe later on in the game you can uh, gain some four costs to feed to bishop, although terminal space is a bit limited. Um, I guess things change a little bit depending on uh, whether Avantos get revealed. Um, Oppo going for silver, so... Yeah, we'll see what he what he pairs that with. Silver sauna, okay. Um, complain, yeah, complain. I, I like complaints open. Um, yeah, I think sauna is relevant here. Um, this is oh, desperation forge. Okay, I would have expected wharf there, but forge maybe is okay. Watchmen, okay, they're they're playing pretty quickly, so I don't know that I'll be able to. You know, analyze every decision. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming that as Oppo, you discard the coppers. Although, yeah, I mean, I don't think the sauna does anything. So there's maybe not any real reason not to discard the sauna, but I guess it just doesn't matter. Uh, so probably trash all of this into a wharf, or you could trash... Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe better is trashing, like, everything except the silver, yeah, and then take two border guards. Yeah, I like, I like this. This makes sense. Desperation for sauna. I, I don't think desperation for sauna is better than a border guard. I, I just really don't. Um, it's another sauna for complain. That makes sense there. Um... Okay. Um, could just like trash all of this for a silver. Trash. Doesn't even play the forge. Really wants that sauna. Okay, yeah, I, I just, I don't agree with this, this play. Uh, from Oppo. Um, yeah, that, that was, that was really strange to me. I mean, even if you, if you really wanted the sauna, you could even just trash the coppers and then desperation for the Avanto, right? Because that would be, uh, right? I think that would have been better. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think I much prefer Kaplan's position at this point. Uh, clearly takes on a here. Yeah. Um, yep, and you get to trash two estates here. Um, do you desperation for a Vanto? Do you desperation for a wharf? Do you just buy two border guards? Huh. I think I like desperation for wharf. Mm. Not completely clear. Um, okay, desperation for a Vanto. That's also reasonable. Um, okay. Oppo finding the Avantos, got to be pretty happy about that. Um, okay, so I imagine you turn, yeah, 
Yeah, I was I was thinking of this, and then maybe like trash a copper with silver, and then desperation for either the last of Anto or a wharf. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I, I agree with Jane Hale's assessment of uh, desperation as being kind of a much better form of banquet. I think in most decks, two coppers is going to be worse than a curse, and uh, obviously desperation is a lot more flexible, like it can help you hit province and that kind of thing. Yep, second war for complain makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, Oppo getting the ironworks now, that, that seems reasonable. Okay, going to get the wharf down this turn. I think you do Avanto first here. Okay, Kaplan prefers Sauna first, and it does end up working out for him. Uh, okay. So what are we Ironworks he for here? Just a Border Guard, or, or what? How much... Uh, I don't know that I agree with playing that Wharf. I mean, there was a lot... There are a lot of bad cards in this shuffle. Like, this is just, like, four bad cards and a Border Guard, I think. Right? Oh, uh, it's... Oh, no, 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 it wasn't two border guards. One of them got top decked with horn. Uh, dud here for oppo. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what you buy here. Maybe another silver? Okay, banquet for charm. I, I don't know why you would banquet over desperation. That's, uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not so much like, oh, you're going to dud, but it's just more like, eh, why, why, why play it? Um, okay, so, yeah, Cap getting this wharf down, okay. Um, so now you kind of have to decide what payload cards you want to go for. So maybe you're choosing between... Um, I don't know. I mean, a lot of charms could be reasonable, but it's like, I, you know, you don't have a ton of terminal space, right? So, um, you know, adding lots and lots of wharves isn't necessarily the direction you want to go in. Okay, so just gold, silver. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's actually probably good. Yeah, I think that makes sense, because, uh... Yeah, like, if you're getting a lot of charms, it's like, what other five are you getting? Are you just getting duchies for, uh, like, really early? Yeah, yeah, I, th I think this seems good. Um, I mean, you could try to do uh, some stuff where you, like, bishop some ironwork, some stuff you ironworks for, but I don't think Kaplan can really, uh, really has the terminal space for that. I mean, you could have just played with, like, two wharves, and then you would have had terminal space for bishop stuff. Yeah, I, I've got to say, I, I really, I much prefer the way Kaplan has played this game. Um, like, generally with Sona Avanto, it's like, you don't get them early, and um, you don't, don't worry about getting a lot of them. I, I would say those are my general recommendations and yeah like oppo like this was the first turn that oppo like oppo waited until turn 11 to put wharf in his deck whereas complain uh complain opened wharf and uh yeah a card like wharf is just like super super good and, and i think a card you want to be playing with sooner than turn 11 um so what do we ironworks for here maybe just a border guard yep complain agrees with that um so you could consider, um, I mean, you could consider adding another wharf here as Kaplan, but I mean, I think his deck is consistent without it, especially with five border guards. So I don't think another wharf is really necessary here. I kind of, I don't know, maybe gold wharf border guard yeah that, that's not crazy I, I just i just don't think that wharf is really necessary um i also think as complain i would be um i mean not necessarily that turn because it's not clear if it was doing a whole lot but 
Um, as Kaplan, I, I would definitely want to be buying... Uh, huh. Well, you don't, you don't have to use all your terminal space chain handles, right? Like, you could just buy, like, a second gold or something. Because, um, like, I just don't think that wharf is doing very much for you. Um, like, as Kaplan, though, I, I would be... Um, I would be buying Desperation pretty much every si single turn. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Jay Nail's uh, well known for his intense and often irrational hatred of buying golds. Um. Yeah, Sif does bring up a good point, though, uh, in that Having like all this plus buy, like Kaplan could be piling curses and border guards pretty darn soon. Um, potentially as early as next turn if Oppo isn't careful. So like Kaplan has five buys and uh, an ironworks plus desperation is seven gains. Although if he's going to be taking all those curses, he would need to buy a province. So he's currently like one gain short of a pile out. Um, yeah, so Oppo going for these charms. Uh, we'll see if he can make anything happen with that. Um, <clears throat> actually, um, like just before this match, I actually was playing a ladder game, uh, with Sauna Avant, so I might post the board at some point. Um, <laughs> I looked at it and I'm like, did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way of the Chameleon and, uh, and Crossroads and stuff. Um, like, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, man, the draw is, like, super weak here, and the trashing's, like, really weak. And I'm like, did I, like, find the one single board in Dominion where opening Sauna Silver is correct? And then I, like, looked a little harder. And in fact, no. It was, uh, again, there was something better to open, um, as there almost always is. Um... In case you can't tell, I'm, like, a huge hater of Sauna Opens. Um, not so clear what Oppo should be doing here. Um, I guess the main thing is not to, like, uh, not to lower, like, Border Guards or Curses to give Kaplan a win. Um, opening Sauna... Well, so, like, the thing is, uh... You're not, like, okay, so you're, like, 40-something percent chance to collide the sauna and the silver and get a trash, right? And that other 60% of the time, like, the sauna did literally nothing for you, right? And I think that, um, like, most of the time, there's just something better to open. Like, something, like, you want something that's going to accomplish something for you 100% of the time. Um <clears throat> Um, <laughs> oh, I guess Oppo, uh, kind of subconsciously thinking that, that gaining that Night Watchman was gonna, uh, give him an action or something. Huh. Can I undo that thinking? <laughs> uh, so, uh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say it's, like, I wouldn't go as far as to say, like, like the pile is just, like, super-duper weak, because I don't think it is. But, like, it's not super, it's not, like, particularly strong, either. And especially compared to, you know, a lot of other cards uh, in Dominion, like, uh, you know, like, we have Worf here, which is, like, actually super-duper strong, like... Um, like, that card's, like, really good. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, compared to that, it's, like, Sonobanto is just pretty weak. Um. Yeah, I mean, trying to get, like, a bunch of draw with Sauna Avanto um, does kind of have that problem where if your opponent doesn't get any saunas, uh, it's pretty slow to get going for you. I mean, there are boards where getting five saunas is better than getting zero, but I think generally speaking, if... Like, I, I'm generally pretty happy to get zero saunas on a board where my opponent gets five. You think there was a win here, really? 
Uh, I wasn't paying very close attention to that. So, had what? Had four buys, plus the ironworks gain and the forge. So you're saying... Okay, so you're saying forge into province, and then you have four buys, you're going to ironworks for a border guard, and then by desperation, and I feel like you're still a gain short. Um... Because you have four buys plus like an extra gain for Ironworks and an extra gain from Desperation. That's still only six and you need seven, right? I'm assuming that you were looking at Border Guards and Curses. Um, okay, let, let's see. I'm assuming Complain can win here. Maybe that's not true. Oh, no, no, no. Definitely not. Not with five buys. Yeah, just going to have to double here. Um, Sure. Yeah, I, I just think Appa was a gain short. Although I wasn't really looking at uh, those pileup potentials until you said, said something about it. Okay, so pretty sad here not to find a sauna as Oppo. Um, probably going to have to just play this Avanto and hope. Yeah. Okay, it ends up working out. Um, hmm, I don't know what this last card is. I don't think it's a copper. All right, so Kaplan has four coppers, Trash has six, that's, yeah, no, it's not a copper. Might be a silver? No, it's not a silver either. Um, oh, it's the other charm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, huh. So does Oppo have anything here? So you'd go for Border Guards and Curses plus Province Duchy. Or no, 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 plus Double Province, I think. Um, Border Guards, Curses, Double Province. You don't have the money for Double Province is the thing. I mean, you could like forge two Ironworks into a province, but then you just don't have the gains. You could also forge Silver Wharf into Province. Silver Wharf to Province. Ironworks for two. Oh, that wins, right? Yeah, 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 that, that wins. Because you forge Wharf Silver into Province. Um, you Well, I guess you Ironworks first. You Ironworks for two Border Guards. You forge Wharf Silver into Province. You play the Charm for buy. That's three buys, and then you buy... Oh, wait, that... Yeah, that is a buy short. You're right. Uh, yeah, because the problem with that line is you don't get to draw the... Yeah, you don't get to draw the second... Hmm. Yeah, if Oppo didn't... If he didn't have this sad... Um, thing where he, he lost an action because of the Saunas and Avantos not lining up right, then he would definitely be winning. Um... I don't think there's a line now. I don't think there's anything. Um, I wonder if there's any way I can go for different piles. Oh, he thinks he has it. Uh, wait, did he? <laughs> oh, I think he saw the same non-winning line that I thought I saw. <laughs> oh. Uh... Yeah, th this this doesn't work. This does not work. <laughs> uh, we'll see how much he asks for. <laughs> yeah, undo the thinking. Um, <laughs> how far? Okay, he's just going to resign in shame. Uh, yeah. That was, that was kind of a, an awkward situation. I always, like, I don't know, I feel weird. Um, about this kind of stuff. I actually had like a similar situation in one of my matches with Dr. Steelhammer where uh, yeah, like I, I thought for like so long and then I just completely botched the ending and uh, I kind of un undid a little while and then took a tie even though I, if I would have undo undone further, I very clearly could have won. Um... 
but uh, I kind of just felt like I didn't deserve the win there. Okay, what's this board? Um, okay. Uh, I mean, you could do something like Guardian Old Witch. Um, yeah, Guardian Old Witch looks like a pretty solid open. Uh, they both have the 3 4. Yeah, looks like that's what Kaplan's going for. Um, even though there's no trashing, I think the presence of Guardian um, makes me, me prefer Old Witch over Witch because um, if they have a Guardian down, like the difference in the attack doesn't do anything, and the Old Witch is just a clean card better in that case. Um, on 4 3, you could probably just do something normal like Fisherman, Silver. But yeah, I like this Guardian Old Witch line. Okay, really nice draw for Kaplain. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is beautiful. Um, hmm. I might take a scepter here, honestly. That goes for second old witch. Um, yeah, the the reason for that I would give for taking scepter there is. Like, based on where you were in the shuffle, like, whatever card you were going to buy is, like, very likely to collide with Old Witch. And Scepter is something that you want to collide with the Old Witch, and um, Second Old Witch obviously is not. Um, pathfinding. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of sad. Uh, maybe Cav here. Okay, goes in. In does let you trigger a really favorable shuffle. Um, I think I like it. Yeah, because if you put a Cav in the deck there, that's kind of just a lot of terminals. Okay, it's fa fantastic for Kaplan to see the Old Witch here. Um, do you think about Cav now? Um, I think I do, yeah. Pretty likely to see the Old Witch and also... Draw into the Guardian, that's really good. Maybe just Fisherman here. I don't think anything else is. Okay, yeah, Oppo's just gonna resign there. Um, it was definitely looking very bad for, for Oppo. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know how that board eventually plays out. I, I don't know if pathfinding is something you're um, even getting at all, to be honest. Um, so what's this board? This board looks kind of ugly. Um, yeah, there's essentially no draw. Um, yeah, state seems better than nothing because of Battlefield. Gotta be pretty happy with getting to open Vampire here as Oppo. Um, I think Ig is probably pretty strong here. Um, yeah, if you tried to Prince a Caravan Guard, it would just kind of stop working after the first time. Uh, so yeah, Scavenger and, uh, I don't know, Car Guard, Ducket, Silver, all reasonable. Yeah, okay. Um, Car Guard a bit better than usual when your opponent's opening an attack card. Um, I mean, Prince Beggar is draw for, for some definitions of draw, but... Uh, okay, yeah, Oppo going for the Ig. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Ig is, is quite strong here. Um, I think they, they both invested in, in a vampire, and I think that makes sense. We'll see. Probably, yeah, I, I think I like that second vampire even as Kaplan, and I, I think I would also get a second vampire here as Oppo. Um, um, don't think I buy anything here for Oppo. Just, just bank the coffer, I'd say. Probably too early to take a state, even with uh, battlefield. Okay, takes a ducket. Hmm. Yeah, not, I don't, I don't think turning a copper into a ducket is better than having uh, the coffers, but yeah. Um. 
so sure, sure, sure. Definitely going to be gaining a, an ig here as complain. Groundskeeper. Oh, I, I don't like that at all. Uh, no, I, I think <laughs> that trashing the... Wait, what? And now Oppo's going for Groundskeeper? Really? Man, Groundskeeper looks terrible to me here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. Huh. She can tend the mushrooms. I, I I don't I don't understand what you're referencing, Jane Ailes. Is it like some druggy joke or I don't know. Um I mean it, it's kind of concordant with Kaplan's play style. Uh Kaplan is a, definitely a dreamer. But I, I think I think Ig is like really strong here, with the the total lack of draw and whatnot, and with Battlefield. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I think I'm generally like more conservative about just like not wanting to spend coffers than a lot of people are. Like, I I do not think that a Caravan Guard is worth a coffer there. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, all the all these groundskeepers. I, does anybody like? Does anybody like agree with with the groundskeepers? I, I'd be kind of curious. Um, third vampire. Yeah, I mean that that makes some sense, although. Yeah, I mean, I just think the egg deck just really likes mushrooms. Okay. So, so like, the regular, or, like, the kind of mushrooms you would, like, cook with, right? <clears throat> um... Huh. Also... Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Um, I think I would be getting more silvers than they're getting as well. Capo. Uh. Yeah, I mean, he could have. I don't... I'm not sure what that would have done for him, but... Uh... Yeah, so like Oppo is just kind of rushing the battlefield points now, it seems. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get these groundskeepers at all. Um, I mean, I guess in general, I, I kind of feel like groundskeeper is like super duper overrated. Um, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's good on like a certain kind of board where like deck control is easy to come by and the board's like kind of slow but yeah i mean you just like you need deck control to like really get value out of them uh wait what wait why did complain trash Complain trashed a copper and a necro with a single bat, and then didn't play the other bat. Rather than just trashing the copper with one of the bats and then the necro with the other bat. Yeah, that that's just that's just like a clear mistake, I think. Yeah, okay. Um hmm. Right. Um, kind of imagining t two estates here. 
Uh huh. Groundskeeper. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Okay. So two estates here. Piles are very low with uh, estates and car guards. Ooh, poverty, pretty pretty big deal there. Um, yeah, I mean, Groundskeeper can, like, encourage building on boards where building would otherwise be too slow. Um, and then if both players build... Um, yeah, I mean, there can be boards where you wouldn't build without Groundskeeper, but if both players build, you don't actually bother with them. Okay, so Oppo wins here. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm. I don't really feel like Caravan Guard should have piled there. I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the car guards should have been silvers. But yeah, I don't know. I would have gone for heavier on the eggs. But um, all right, this board um, pool looks like the best draw. Uh, remake could be pretty good. Um, Way of the Ox is probably going to be pretty decent given all the overdraw with pool. Um, yeah, I mean, I think pool is definitely worth going for. It's a colony board. Um, Got plenty of time to build, especially with Ghost Ship, too. Um, yeah, I think I like opening Remake. Um, Harbinger. I mean, Harbinger versus Silver. Yeah, Oppo, or Complain goes Silver. Um, okay, Oppo goes Silver as well. Um, yeah, Silver help, helps you hit Potion, helps you hit Ghost Ship. I think I like it better than Harbinger. Um... Hmm. Yeah. Not sure about... Yeah, I guess it's better to just take these Harbingers now. I feel like my a lot of my, like, intuition for remakes just says to, uh, just trash the coppers and, like, trash the coppers early and, like, wait to trash the estates. But I guess if you're remaking into Harbingers, it doesn't really, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Whoa! Whoa, I don't agree with that at all from Complain. I would have top decked sil uh, Silver Copper and then just remade to Coppers. I, I don't agree with what he did at all. And now, yeah, it's like here, I, I guess you remake two Coppers. It goes into a ghost ship. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that just seemed like a huge misplay from Complain, and I think he's just really far behind now because of it. Um, sure, sure, sure. This attack ends up not doing all that much. Uh, I think that was a mistake. Hmm... No, uh, no, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Uh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Complain did make a mistake there, because, um, if he would have kept the Harbinger in hand, then he could have played a ghost ship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Oppo has the wine merchant, right? Yeah, yeah, Oppo's the one with the wine merchant. This ghost ship attack's gonna be pretty, pretty painful. Imagine you top deck two coppers, top deck a pool by a farming village, something like that as complain. Um, and then here as Oppo, probably just remake and buy another pool. Yeah, and I think Oppo is just so far ahead at this point. Um, largely, yeah, I think Complain's 
complaint just made, yeah, like like that one, that one early game mistake. I think was the main one, uh, where he he just top decked the remake instead of playing it. That just seemed really bad to me. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't. I guess complaint's not. I don't think complaint's out of it yet, but. Oppo definitely pretty far ahead. Um, it's not super clear if you discard that remake or not, but yeah. Uh, sure, just takes another pool there. Um, I guess remake does kind of encourage you to uh, prioritize getting deck control over payload because you can always just like remake a four into a wine merchant so like yeah like waiting too long before getting wine merchant i don't think it's like a super big deal here uh, i'm not sure who's ahead in the uh thinning game uh Okay, both have played their remake four times. Okay. Uh, I gotta imagine this is Pool Wine Merchant for Oppo. Right. I mean, what else would you really be considering? Another farming village, okay. Eh, I mean, that doesn't seem horrible, but I would have preferred another wine merchant. You have all these harbingers that can just get played as way of the ox once you you know you, you keep adding pools and then pretty soon those harbingers uh you're, you're just going to be able to play all of them as ox and then support a lot of wine merchants um i'm not sure if we're ever going to see anybody buy plats here or if it's just going to be lots and lots of wine merchants um i would think it's mostly just mass wine merchant as the payload Uh, kind of sad here for complain. I guess you just buy pool. Uh, prefers prefers trashing. Okay. Come on, do a wine merchant now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean the thing is, I don't think you can get by with just two pools here. Right, like given that given ghost ships on the board, it's like if you don't um, if you don't have a pool in your starting hand, you're you're pretty likely to dud. So, I think complaint is going to need to regain the potion um, here is Oppo. Yeah, just just a pool. I think I agree with him saying that. Discarding the wine merchant is better than buying a harbinger, but I don't think I would hate the reverse either. Uh, so I'm going to have a pretty good turn here. Yeah. I mean, I agree with the idea that, like, yeah, I mean, like, if you get four pools and your opponent gets six, like, that's not a problem at all. Um, I mean, if anything, getting six might be, like, too many. Um, but you, I definitely don't think you can get by on only two. So, yeah, we're going to see Harbinger to Potion, and then I, I guess just trash the, like, just trash a copper here. Yeah. Freaky's gone. <laughs> Getting four and yeah, it's it's something like that. I mean, I think both of those things are kind of like board and game state dependent. Like on boards with worse trashing than this board, uh, getting a lot of pools can be uh, a really good thing. Um, but um, yeah, like here, I don't think you need a ton of them. I also, I mean, I also don't think that, like, really applies to Governor particularly rigidly. Um, I mean, I think with Governor, it's mostly just a question of, like, 
okay, if I start greening now, like, how quickly can I, um, you know, get to five provinces or, you know, if there's Alt-VP, potentially more. I mean, yeah, I definitely don't think there's anything special about the number four when it comes to governor. Uh, um, it's actually not really so clear who's ahead now. I, I mean, I don't know. I was kind of like bad mouth and complaints position a lot before, but that turn made it look like He's actually doing reasonably well. Um, yeah, Oppo, Oppo really is not trashed very much. So, uh, hmm. could consider just two wine merchants here, even leaving the other one on the mat. I mean, I don't think like a, another Harbinger is doing that much. Yeah, he does go for the Harbinger. I, I don't know. I think I would have just taken the two wine merchants there, although I, it might be too aggressive given that he's just really not trashed. Yeah, I gotta imagine Complain's like pretty far ahead at this point. Um, not really sure where things went wrong for Oppo. Okay. You gotta imagine we're whoa whoa, why did we play that pool there? I mean it might not matter, but I would have thought we would have waited with that so we can draw up the stuff we get with remake. I mean, what are we remaking here? Like we could remake like potion to wine merchant, copper to nothing. Or we could remake, like, Potion to Wine Merchant, Harbinger to Potion. It's not totally clear. Uh, yeah, it's kind of looking like it doesn't actually matter, but just, you know, as a matter of good practice, I think you should do the remake first and then and do stuff like that. Uh, okay, so remake, okay, yeah, just chooses to remake a copper and then I certainly, okay, goes for, wait, wait, what? Well, now we don't have the actions for the set, what? Ah, this is, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, I, I really think you should have trashed the, the second pool, or the second, not second anything, the potion into another wine merchant and that way, if you still had the Harbinger in the deck, or the, the, man, I really can't talk. If he still had the Farming Village, then he would have the actions to play both of the Wine Merchants. And if you want another pool, you can just remake a Harbinger into another potion. Um, but yeah, I think you should definitely be, be getting another Wine Merchant and doing it in a way that you could actually play it. Yeah, so like this, it's like, I don't know, I just don't feel like that turn made as much forward progress as it could have, yeah. Um, that said, I mean, in complaints position, probably still pretty strong, just based on Oppo having like so many coppers still in his deck. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Oppo just like didn't get to play the remake a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm assuming what you mean, J Nails, is that it's it, right, right, yeah, yeah, because he, he spent that turn, uh. You know, after the ghost ship attack, choosing not to play the remake, which seemed really strange and seemed like he was going to get behind on thinning. But now it's it is Oppo who's down on thinning. Wait, what? A state? Oh, I I guess Oppo just wants to like 
remake that estate into the last harbinger but like the thing is oppo's deck is really sketch like he's been dudding like yeah he, he does not have a functional deck and so if you don't have a functional deck you don't want to be adding more stop cards <laughs> um yeah i mean i'm not i don't think op or i don't think complain should go particularly out of his way to get this harbinger but ah uh, i don't know i wanted to play that remake i wanted to do something like potion to wine merchant silver to farming village huh. oh okay yeah yeah uh jay nails very very instructive there uh letting us know that he who gets the sixth harbinger wins the game uh, unlike with such mediocre cards as Scrying Pool and Governor. Um, if there are any new players watching, everything I said was completely sarcastic there. <clears throat> well, I mean, the part about the Pool and Governor splits wasn't sarcastic, but the, the stuff about the Harbinger split being important was sarcastic. Um... Oh, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Just everything is sarcasm. Uh, okay, so 14. All right, so... You could buy, like... Uh, I'm not sure if... Hmm. I mean, two wine merchants in a pool seems good, assuming that it's safe. But I don't think it's safe. Um, I mean, Oppo has three wine merchants now, so that's four buys, which is already enough to empty if you do that. So yeah, I, I don't think that's that's good at all. I think you just lose. Or, I mean, Oppo's deck isn't very good he's not really drawing so i don't know how high the chances of it losing are but it could lose and given that complaints position is strong i don't think that's something you want to risk um so if you don't do two wine merchants and pool yeah i mean i feel like as i think about this position more i i just feel like, I really, really wanted to play that remake and turn the potion into another wine merchant. Like, I feel like if we would have done that, this this would be a lot more comfortable of a position as Complain. So, I'm going to go pool. You could even just take a platinum here. Oh, okay. Okay, so wine merchant and then farming village. Okay, so this is uh, potentially still kind of risky, but I don't think Oppo is really drawing well enough uh, to actually a mine. Why would you get a mine? Um, yeah, I, I feel like Oppo like very well could be winning here. Um, huh. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, again, it's like you could do a play like this with the idea of like, well, like my opponent's not drawing very well, so they probably won't be able to punish me. But like that logic, it's just so suspect because it's like, well, if they have a bad turn, then you're probably just going to be ahead anyway. So like, why risk it if your position's so good? Um <clears throat> Okay. So, yeah, definitely think we're top decking. Yeah, top deck an action card, and then you. Yeah, this this definitely looks like like Oppo's winning. Might even be in hand. Yeah, I mean, say we. Oh, say we remake. Well, actually, the remake isn't very useful. I mean, the only thing to really remake is heart or farming villages into wine merchants. Definitely want to stop to think here. 
oh, maybe he already sees it. So two farming villages into two wine merchants and then buy wine merchant harbinger pool. Yep. Yeah, that's game. That is game. Um, yeah, even has enough left over for an estate. Okay. Um, yeah, so there was that early mistake uh, by complain that I, I pointed out, but um, for whatever reason, I guess something that I, I didn't really notice, Oppo kind of fell behind a bit. Um, but yeah, then complain there at the on that last turn, uh, complain just being uh, really needlessly risky um, and, and losing for it. Um, okay, so this board, uh, Mountebank, obviously an extremely strong card. Um, I think we're probably going like Scrap Silver as an open. Um, Groom can definitely help you shove a lot of action cards in your deck if you're maybe thinking about Vineyard. Grim Vineyard. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's something that, like... Well... Yeah, I don't know how that plays out in general. Uh, I mean, there's definitely a synergy there. Um, but I, I don't think it's... I don't think it's good enough that you could, like, ignore Mountebank here. Um, Oppo actually going for the Groom Open, which I don't like, just because I, I really... I really want to hit five for Mountebank. Complain goes for a mining village. Hmm. I mean, mining village will get you to five, but... Well, maybe that makes sense. I mean... Hmm. Yeah, it's not so clear. Wait, so Oppo just then buys two more grooms. Oh, so maybe Oppo has ideas of just rushing grooms, mining villages, and estates. Like, going for vineyards. Okay. Not even really bothering with Mountebank. Uh, I don't like this plan, but I could see myself losing to it. So we'll, we'll see how it works. Cap getting the second Mountebank. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Candlestick makes some sense, given you're going for vineyards and there's Peddler whatnot. Okay, yeah, Oppo goes for early potion. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, Oppo's going to have a pretty thick deck, though, given his lack of trashing and caps mount banks. So I don't think, as complain, I don't think you really want to contest this stuff. Because I think then the game just ends even faster. So I, I think as complain, I'd be more interested in, in just going for provinces. Um, yeah, it gets to attack again with Mountie. That's definitely pretty strong. Okay. Hmm. Are we adding estates already? We are. Okay. Definitely buy another potion here, I'd think. Yeah, second potion. Okay, just prefers Groom. Okay, so maybe Oppo is kind of preferring speed over points here. Just wants to, to end the game really quickly. Could be it. I don't know. I don't know what Complain's plans are here, though. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not totally clear to me either, but yeah, it gets a bad card off the bottom of your shuffle, and I don't know. Um, okay, so complain. <laughs> I mean, it, it's very difficult to track your deck in a situation like this, but. Uh, obviously, this scrap decision would not have been made if he realized that it was a mountebank on the bottom of his deck. Um, okay, second potion now. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I feel like Oppo is winning here. Um, I'm a little curious, like, like why did Oppo open Groom Silver over Groom Scrap? Because I feel like if your plan, well, I, I mean, at least if your plan was to skip Mountebank all along, then I feel like you would go for, um, for Groom Scrap. But, I mean, I guess silver does help you hit uh, four, I guess. So maybe it's not that clear, but I, I, I still think I'd be opening scrap. Um, so yeah, it looks like, looks like Oppo is just winning. Well, maybe. This vineyard's going to be worth a lot of points, huh? Yeah. Okay, I think as complain you just have to pop this mining village groom for a state and hope you can province um, yeah this game definitely does not have a whole lot of time left um, hmm, yeah yeah I don't like this I don't like this as much Yeah, because if you, if you could have provinced there as complain, then that actually put, you know, if you could have, well, a state and province, that would have put Oppo potentially in a little dicey of a position with uh, points. But, uh, okay, more duchies. Uh, I guess Grim for a state. Okay, yeah, and this is just game now. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it's this, like, Groom Rush vineyard thing. Um, it definitely, it was not my first intuition. I, I would, I would have thought Mountebank was strong enough that you kind of have to play with that. But, uh, I thought that was game five. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, the, the Grim Vineyard thing did seem pretty convincing. I mean, I think if you hit, like, um, an early five, just, like, randomly, um, I think you'd probably still take the Mountie, but I don't think I would um, try too hard to get a Mountie Bank. Uh, like, I, I think, yeah, just, like, scrap Grim open. Uh, which, yeah, and then, you know, you... Are very unlikely to hit five, and you're kind of just okay with that. Um, yeah. Okay. I think probably the the main thing, like the relevant thing on that board, is that like the trashing wasn't. Well, like scraps a good trasher, but like it's not something that's going to get you like really thin, right? So, like, it's difficult to get thin. There was very little draw, right? So, the thing is, like, even if you're playing the, like, messy Groom Rush deck, um, it's, like, the other person's deck is still going to be messy as well. Um, all right, so here we have a board where Crypt sucks, but JNLs wants to get it for some inexplicable reason. Um, actually, is that even true? Let's see. Um... Hmm. So, like, Storyteller, yeah, Storyteller helps you draw your deck. And if you want to just set aside all your coppers um, with Crypt, um, yeah, you can definitely do so. Um, what's happened so far? So, Cap opened Monument Silver, Oppo opened Monument Carguard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the Silver better than the Carguard, I think. Um... Wait, he took a crypt already? Turn four? Okay, that's way too early. I mean, I, I actually... Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I think crypt... Crypt would be good here, but it would be good, like, after you're drawing your deck. Um, yeah, I mean, he kind of gets lucky with it there. And that, not, like, that definitely was a very nice crypt play. But... Yeah, but, like, I don't know. It's like... If you, like, if you make a practice of buying Crypt that early in the game, like, 
you're going to get a hand that's crypt two coppers and two estates. And you're going to get it a lot more than you're going to get something like that. Um, okay. So we have heralds in the deck. Well, yeah, the crypt plan does make herald a bit better. Um, so I think like fortress grave robber is going to be pretty good eventually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> crypt tops vampire. Well, I think crypt should at least be above like. I mean, sacred. So, sacred grove sucks, right? Sacred grove is horrible, um, and that card should be below crypt, and I don't think that should be controversial. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, grave robber. Grave robber does look pretty good here. Um, yeah, with with fortress and whatnot. <laughs> Oppo already resigning. Just got uh, clobbered by the crypt. Uh, so yeah, okay. In all seriousness, I do think crypt was good there um that spot on turn four uh where complain took a crypt i would have taken a second storyteller uh i would have uh, i would have preferred to have a bit more deck control before adding the crypt but i, I do think crypt was good there uh overall um so all right uh thanks everyone for watching uh bye